I am here today for one reason, to ask that my colleagues in the House stand with me to make clear to the American people that we care more about defending students than predatory, enriching predatory schools. That is what my bill, House Joint Resolution 76, is all about. In 1992, Congress added a rule known as borrower defense to the Higher Education Act to give students the legal right to seek forgiveness on their federal student loans because of fraud by their schools. Predatory school misconduct in the 80s was so rampant, it was painfully clear to Democrats, Republicans, and everyone in between that we need protections in place for students who are scammed and cheated by their institution. And that's just as true today. Corinthian Colleges, ITT Tech, University of Phoenix, Dream Center, 350,000 students have filed claims alleging they were defrauded by these schools. They were lied to about the job prospects they'd get from these schools. They were lied to about the transferability of their credits, and they were lied to about the quality of education they'd receive. The only thing they got was a useless degree and a mountain of debt after these schools abruptly closed and because of rampant misconduct. The most painful part is that these are mostly students from low-income communities, people of color, and veterans. These are Americans we should be standing up for, not taking advantage of. In 2016, the last administration created a new borrower defense rule to streamline the process to help these students. Sounds pretty good, right? Well, not to Betsy DeVos. She then rewrote the borrower defense rule to make it almost impossible for a defrauded student to get relief on their student loans. Even in cases where schools clearly violated the law, the burden of proof on defrauded students is so absurdly unrealistic that that student would need to hire a team of lawyers to have a shot at proving intent and misconduct from the school. But the point made by proponents of this borrower defense rule that is most insulting is that the new rule saves taxpayers dollars. That's simply false. The new rule severely weakens the early warning system that ensures predatory schools, not taxpayers, cover the cost of debt relief. As a result, in the few cases where relief is rewarded under the DeVos rule, taxpayers will be the ones to foot the bill. And beyond that, the only reason you can say that this rule actually saves money is because we are denying relief to every legitimately defrauded student. Let me be clear. Betsy DeVos, if Betsy DeVos's 2019 borrower defense rule goes into effect, more students will become victims of fraud with no way to climb out of the hole that our government dug for them. This puts my colleagues in Congress on the record. Members have a choice to make, and if they choose to go vote against this re resolution, they will have to go back home and tell thousands of students, veterans, and their constituents in their district that they chose to be on the side of predatory schools over them. I think the choice is clear. Mr. Speaker, I reserve the balance of my time. General